Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about 1950s makeup that you can still buy today. So I've been doing research for months now about different cosmetic brands that have been around since the 1950s and earlier and I happened to find a lot of different products that were available in the 1950s that you can still buy today. So let's jump right in and I'm going to start talking to you about some of my favorite products that I even use that are all vintage from the 1950s. And if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Laura and this is where I talk about all things vintage. So if you love those things, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the big red button below. Also, please don't forget to follow me on Instagram and link that below. I do a lot of behind the scenes stuff. So I always love getting messages from you. So please don't forget to say hello. All right, let's jump right in and talk about 1950s makeup that you can still buy today. I mentioned these books before, but I always use these two books as my reference. This one's called Timeless. It's good for just looking at color swatches. This one as well. I always use them just to kind of get a reference of popular colors and products from the time period. So I started out my little video with this vintage Studio Girl eyeshadow and cake um, mascara and eyebrow palette. I got this one on eBay, but I really wanted to get it because it's an authentic from the 1950s and it gives you an idea of what colors that were popular and this kind of goes along with my research. So the 1950s women loved to coordinate their eyeshadow with their clothing and accessories, even their home decor. And in this time period, a lot of popular colors were like kind of like a seafoam green, a lavender purple, a lime green, their gold was even popular and blues, so lots of purples, blues, like very pastel-y. And in the 1950s, women usually did like a dark, like a sweep across the eyeshadow and kind of blended it up towards the eyebrow bone. It was usually just one solid color. For the most part, they didn't mix colors too much. So it was like kind of like a, a matte shade of blue kind of all over their eyelid. And I actually found some modern makeup in these similar colors. I chose Avon because I know Avon has been around for around 130 years. And I found a whole bunch of eyeshadow quads. There's even more online. I have two of them that are kind of my go-to that match the Studio Girl palette very much the same, as well as color palettes in those two books. So as you can see, the Avon one has that light pastel blue. Um, there's even the, the brighter blue. So these ones are very historically accurate and maybe even these colors were the same ones from the 1950s. It's definitely another video I have planned. But as you can see, these are kind of popular colors. And for the cheeks and foundation, in the 50s, Max Factor was very popular. This is the Max Factor Cream Puff. It's kind of like a powdered foundation. Um, it has pretty good coverage actually. And this one has been around since 1953, so this is kind of iconic 1950s um, foundation pressed powder, and this is Max Factor Cream Puff. Pond's was very popular during this time period, and this is like the Pond's Angel Face Powder. I just want to open it so you can see. So it's basically like a classic face powder Pond's. Works pretty well with coverage, and this one has been around for a very long time even since the 1800s. It started with the cold cream, but I quite like it. It's like an affordable brand. Um, I also have a vintage one. I think this one is probably from the 1950s, maybe early 60s, but isn't Pond's a lot nicer back then. As you can see, it's like this beautiful blue. And this is the original Angel Face Golden Honey Beige, and this is kind of the new version, as you can see. But this is Pond's and it's still available today from the 1950s. For mascara in the 1950s, the stick one wasn't really available yet, so everyone used cake mascara. Um, a good one to go with is the Besame Cosmetics Cake Mascara with the little brush that you just wet in and use on your lashes. You can also use it as an eyeliner or even eyebrow pencil. It's probably more if you have darker um, eyebrows. But for the most part in the 50s, women did not put mascara on the lower lid, just the top lid. And in the 50s, the mascara curler was popular and a lot of women used that as well. No one did fake lashes really back then, I believe. I might be wrong though, because I think Marilyn might have fake lashes. So the Besame Cosmetic Cake Mascara is a good one that was available. This wasn't available in the 50s, but it's definitely a historically accurate 1950s mascara. I have a whole I also have a vintage Max Factor Cake Mascara. I believe this one is from the 1950s, just so you can kind of see the difference. 
very small. This one hasn't been used, but it has a little brush as well. I did feature it in my mascara video. Also for foundation, Max Factor, which I already discussed, is a very popular brand. And you can still buy the Pan Stick Foundation. I almost use it more as a concealer slash foundation. Um, I don't really put it all over my face, but it's good. I kind of put it like a little bit under my eyes, around my nose, in certain spots. It blends very well, and I just use like a puff, or, like a sponge to blend it. And that has pretty good coverage. And this one has been around even before the 1950s. So this is the Max Factor Pan Stick Foundation. I discovered that there is a Max Factor Concealer Stick that has been around since the 50s. And this one is Max Factor Erase, and it's kind of a cover-up concealer stick. It's kind of similar to the Pan Stick Foundation, but you just use it to touch up little spots under your eyes and stuff like that. And this concealer stick has been around for a very long time, even I think before the 1950s. So this is the Max Factor Erase Concealer Stick. Moving on to lipsticks, there is the, one of my favorites is the Christian Dior Red 999 Lipstick. This is a very iconic 1950s red shade. I believe Grace Kelly wore this shade. It is an investment, but it's a very beautiful lipstick. It goes on really nice and it does stay on for a long time and it doesn't dry out your lips. I quite like this color. I wear it a lot. I wish the case was obviously a little more vintage. It's the only thing I don't like about it. There's also a Max Factor Red Lipstick. This one is called Marilyn Ruby Red. I believe, I don't know if it, this shade was from the 1950s, but I believe Max Factor used a shade that Marilyn um, Monroe wore in the 50s and then relaunched it. So this is an, another really nice iconic red lipstick. Definitely more affordable than the um, Christian Dior one. So this is a Max Factor Marilyn Ruby Red lipstick. I have three Revlon shades. I haven't mentioned these in previous videos. Two of them are from the it's called the Moondrops Collection. You can't really find these ones in stores, the green cases, but I did find them on Amazon. So there's two shades. There is a Persian Melon, which was a very popular shade in the 1950s. It's like a really nice pink shade. I'm wearing it right now. I quite like it. I just love this kind of, it's like a bright pink. It just looks really nice on. So this is from the Moondrops Collection. It is available on Amazon, but I did link it below. And here's another one from the Moondrops Collection. This is a hot coral, and corals were a very popular shade in the 50s. As you can see, this is a very like, a bright coral color, and again, it's I love it. It looks really nice on. It's definitely like a fun, bright 1950s color. Also, I found Stormy Pink, which is a very popular color from the 1950s. It's a kind of a lighter pink, but it definitely has that like pastel-y color to it as well. I really like this one. It's one of my favorites. And again, I've never seen this one in the store. So this one is Stormy Pink by Revlon. And I'm gonna talk about the years for this one. So Stormy Pink is the oldest one. This one is from a 1950s, so it's actually very old. And this is a Revlon shade from 1950. Um, it's interesting to see that people wore such a beautiful, kind of almost a bright pink. And this one is from 1950, and it's called Stormy Pink. And this is a very matte shade by Revlon. The next one is Hot Coral, and this one is from 1956, and this is the Moondrop collection as well. And it is a very um, kind of melony color, very orange. And it's called Hot Coral, and it's a Moondrops collection from 1956. And the last shade is Persian Melon, and this one is from 1957. I quite like this one too, it's very pink. And this is also the Moondrops collection by Revlon. Thank you so much for watching. That is it for my vintage 1950s beauty products that you can still buy today. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you tried any of these products? I'm obsessed with the Revlon shades. I love those. Also, these foundations are really good, and I use those Avon eyeshadows every day. All right, let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.